And as uh, Columbia passes from the uh, lit side of the earth to dark. We're all wrapped up and ready to come home. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, we're all set and ready to close the port door. If you're ready, we'll do it. All right, that, Brian. We're sitting here watching. You have a go to close the port door. Okay. Hit the radiator. I just missed. Fuck this jam. Well, it's jammed squarely in there. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but there's no question. It's jammed right, in, right in there. It looks like it kept it from coming down. What's it look like to you? Roger that. We concur, and you have a go to drive the latches. Hello, Ray. Hello, Jim. Down in steerage. Hey, Drew. Hey, Millie. Hey, Hudson Fowl. Almost an entry interface. Uh-oh. Somebody take care of spot. Okay. Columbia Houston, the winds at Edwards remain light on runway 22 right now. They're 204 at 11 knots. Forecast winds remain unchanged, 240 at 16 gusts 24. Those are within limits. You have a go for the burn. Roger, go for the burn. Columbia now crossing the California coast. Altitude 126,000 feet. Velocity 6,000 feet per second. Or approximately 4,091 miles an hour. And uh, this view showing Columbia, uh, provided by the Santa Inez long range tracking camera at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Now receiving views from Columbia, uh, of Columbia from cameras at the Dryden Flight Research Facility. Current altitude 70,000 feet, velocity Mach 1.9. Columbia Houston, latest forecast winds at Edwards, right down the runway, 220 at 14, gust to 20. Nominal aim point looks good. Great.
Columbia, Houston, see about 2,000 feet high at Hack Intercept. Roger. Flight now, his energy looks Roger. good. Copy, we processing MLS guidance? Processing MLS. Very good. And he's on center line and on glide slope. Columbia, on center line, on glide slope. Roger. Gears down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Roger that, Columbia. Welcome back. It looked great, Brian, and congratulations on a super flight. And we'll have post-landing deltas for you here shortly. Okay, all operators, post-landing deltas. Okay. Prop? No deltas flight. GNC? No deltas flight. Eagle? No deltas flight. Econ? No deltas. Max? No deltas. Booster? No deltas. Enco? No deltas. DPS? No deltas. Payloads? No deltas. I think that's everybody. No deltas. Columbia, Houston, no deltas to the post-landing checklist. We'll follow you through as written. Okay. Columbia's crew is now working through the post-landing procedures to safe the orbiter and uh, prepare it for the convoy crews. Touchdown times for uh, Columbia at uh, runway 22 uh, for the main gear was at 10.39, 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Moving in uh, to Columbia's vicinity now is the crew transport vehicle. Uh, moving along the side of runway 22. Again, the crew transport vehicle is a renovated people mover, uh, the same type of people mover that's in use at uh, many airports uh, throughout the world. Uh, this is a renovation of a people-moving unit that was obtained uh, from Baltimore-Washington International Airport. 